and welcome back to my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sew an invisible zipper. The secret to perfecting your invisible zipper. Let's go! So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. Okay, cool. Everything seems to be in place except for my brain. There's a few things that you're gonna need before you start. So get your clear ruler, your clippers obviously, your invisible zipper foot for your machine. But if you don't have a zipper foot, it's totally okay because I'm gonna show you how to use the regular zipper foot as well. First things first, you need to prep your fabric, iron it, get it all nice and crisp. You're also going to want to iron your zipper tape. I don't know if you know, but the invisible zipper, it actually rolls in and the teeth go towards the back. So if you look at an invisible zipper, you'll see that there is tape. This is the front side. And then you turn it to the back side and you see all of the teeth. This is the wrong side of the zipper. So what you're gonna have to do is unzip your zipper, set your iron on a low heat, you just roll the teeth down and you iron over top of your teeth. We're gonna be marking where your zipper needs to stop. So mine is about 12 inches. So right at the top, you're measuring down 12 inches plus, get this, the seam allowance, so 12 and a half, right? And don't forget the other side of your fabric. This is a professional tip. When you're buying an invisible zipper, you want the length of your zipper to actually be one inch longer than what you need for your project. That is very important to note because you don't wanna be working all the way down to the end of the zipper. So that's a tip. Take that, whatever it's worth. Okay, my zipper is longer than 12 inches. We're gonna measure from the top of the zipper head to where 12 inches is on my ruler. And then we're just gonna mark on either side. Always make sure that you have one inch longer than expected. That's some good prepping we've done there. Now, believe it or not, we're gonna sew this thing. My fabric doesn't have, or it doesn't look like there's a right or a wrong side. So what I'm going to do is take my chalk and put a big X so I know that that is the wrong side that I'm working with. Then I flip it over and make this the wrong side as well. X means wrong, you know, no. I'm taking my pieces and I'm just opening up so I can see the right sides. We're gonna take the right side of the zipper, we're gonna open it up, and then what you do is you take these zipper tape and just flip it around because you need the right sides together. Pinning the top zipper tape, we're matching the top of your fabric with the top of the zipper tape. If you're sewing at a 5 eighths of an inch, seam allowance, then you have to move your zipper tape just over slightly. We're just gonna follow this all the way down and we're going to match up our marks here that we made at 12 inches. What we have to do now is change the presser foot to the invisible zipper foot. It looks like this and it has these two grooves on either side. This is a more typical or common way of sewing invisible zippers in. Sometimes I find that the invisible zipper foot, it actually doesn't really sew into the crease of the zipper foot. You don't get a really nice tight lock. I'm gonna show you later how I do it and I actually get a closer seam than what the invisible zipper foot does. We're starting on the left side so left side of your zipper means the left side of the foot. You just have to maneuver your zipper tape by rolling it out and kind of placing it underneath the zipper foot. And it kind of just automatically rolls out for you. We have to make sure that we stop right at the notch with our stitches and then back tack, okay? 
using the hand wheel might help. So we've done that, and now we have to do the other side. So guess what? When you're sewing the right side, you have to sew on the right side of the groove of the zipper foot. The zipper foot doesn't always get into that groove here. And then you'll get this line. And this is sometimes what happens with the invisible zipper foot. See that? See how it pulls apart? Like if you have any tension on your garment, then you're going to see that zipper tape or you just don't care. Like that is amazing. Fine. Totally cool. You don't have to do this step. I personally do because we're talking about perfection here. Okay, so we want perfection. You're going to have to go back in with the regular zipper foot and stitch again super close to where the groove of the zipper tape and the zipper teeth are, okay? Okay, so you have this. This is like extra long, I know. Don't worry about that. Now you take your zipper and you zip it up. Doesn't seem to want to zip. <laughs> Hi. Now you have to stitch up these two pieces, okay? Make sure you're matching them right sides together. Match the end of your pieces and your notches where you finish sewing your zipper, okay? That is the most important point that you need to match up. Unfortunately, some people sew from the end of the hem to here, to this point, which is not the best because you can get some puckering going all the way up and then that's when you get a pucker right at the end of the zipper. That's the problem. The rule is always sewing down the body, right? So whatever access fabric is, it goes all the way down to the hem and you can just cut off the excess. That's why the zip, the regular zipper foot is great. So you can get right into that corner to get your stitches matching exactly where your other stitches end. So you can continue that line all the way down at a half inch. That's where you put down your needle, okay? Where those intersecting stitches meet. Get into those stitches. We're just gonna stitch all the way to the end at a half inch. Perfect, right? Great, let's go. Let's open this up and check it out. Guys, no puckers. Look at that, no puckers, nothing. You can't even tell where the zipper is and where the seam is, where it stops and where it starts. Fantastic. Now all you have to do is take this to the iron, iron it out. It's gonna be crisp and clean and beautiful and perfect. Oh, and I may wanna mention that if you have a super long tail like this, all you have to do is just measure one inch from here and then do maybe a zigzag stitch over top. Be careful, don't break a needle. Or you just go back and forth over top with a straight stitch. That's cool, you could do that too. Cut your zipper half inch from this tack mark. Okay, so you technically would have an inch and a half where you cut. I guess that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching up until the end here. I really also hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody, subscribe to the video, subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring that bell. I'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Arrivederci.